Everyone's curious, but just take a closer look. The Panamera. Open your car quickly, easily, and without even using the key, with optional Porsche entry and drive. The doors are unlocked as soon as you pull the door handle. All that's necessary is that the key is in close proximity to the car. Save your individual seat, mirror, and steering wheel settings with the comfort memory function. You get in, and the car adjusts to you. How does it work? The current settings are saved to your key automatically when you leave the vehicle. This automatic save function can be deactivated in the multifunction display. On the outside of your seat are controls which you can use to adjust your seating position. Press or move the buttons as shown for seat cushion depth, length, seat height and tilt, back rest angle, and lumbar support. You can save your setup using the buttons on the inside of the door. Press the memory button set and then one. A tone is heard as confirmation. To retrieve the settings later, simply press 1 again. Another person can use button 2. You can use button 3 to save your personal settings on the key, for example, if you have deactivated the automatic save function. To start the engine in vehicles with Porsche entry and drive, next to the steering wheel is the ignition, a rotary switch, which you must turn briefly to the right. All you need is for the remote key to be inside the car. Drive safely and enjoy. Porsche Communication Management, PCM, available as an option on some models, is located in the center of the dashboard and is the central information and communication system. Its 7-inch high-resolution touchscreen enables intuitive operation. Alternatively, you can use the rotary or push buttons situated below the PCM screen. The display shows a maximum of five inputs per page for greater usability. Simply press back to exit a menu. Want to make a telephone call? Just press the phone button and the phone function menu appears in PCM. You now have several options. You can make a call using the hands-free profile of PCM. or. Use the wireless receiver in the center console by placing your SIM card into the integral SIM card reader. Another option is to use the Bluetooth connection of your mobile phone via the SIM access profile. PCM automatically accesses the SIM card in your phone. Or, to put it simply, your phone communicates wirelessly with PCM. If your phone does not have the SIM access profile, you can use the PCM simply as a hands-free device using Bluetooth. How do you do that? Select the option Search for Phone to start an automatic search for available mobile phones. Then, Enter the four-digit Bluetooth code shown in your phone. PCM confirms connection of the external device and your phone is ready for use. 
With mobile phones from many manufacturers, iPhones for instance, connection can be started from the phone. Set your mobile to search and select the PCM from the list of devices found. Press the Lift Receiver button on PCM when you want to take a call or retrieve the speed dial functions. Press the Hang Up button when you want to reject a call or finish a conversation. Alternatively, you can use the buttons on the optional multifunction steering wheel. Want to select a destination? Press Navi to open the navigation system menu. Select Map for the map image. In perspective, or a two-dimensional view. You can also display scenes and buildings in 3D. The remaining route is automatically adapted to the maximum screen size. And, the split-screen mode enables you to view two functions simultaneously, such as the current navigation map and driving instructions. On the top left-hand steering column stock is a button to operate the voice control system for a PCM. As you press the button, simply say the menu option as it is displayed on the screen. For example, say iPod, and this function is then selected. MP3 players can be connected directly to the PCM via the universal audio interface in the storage compartment of the center console. Need to stop, for example, at traffic lights? On vehicles fitted with Porsche Doppelkupplung PDK, the auto start-stop function turns off the engine except under particular circumstances, such as when the exterior temperature is very high, on extreme gradients, or if the battery charge is low. When the lights change to green and you release the brake, the system restarts the engine. The function can be switched on and off using a button on the center console. Getting too warm or too cold? The buttons for operating the climate control system are situated on the center console. You can change the temperature by pulling or pressing these controls. And the driver and passenger can set the temperature independently. Sitting in the front, but want to control the rear temperature? For example, for your children, press the Auto Rear button, which is located at the front right of the center console for three seconds. The four-zone climate control system's rear function is then activated, and the rear temperature can be adjusted from the front. The center console contains the controls for manually setting temperature, fan speed, air volume, air distribution, seat heating, 
and seat ventilation. The rear seat passengers will find buttons on the center console for adjusting the four zone climate control system independently for the rear. Feeling thirsty? Your drink can be conveniently located by depressing the panel above the glove box and folding out one or both cup holders. Then close the panel again so that the cup holder cannot move accidentally during the journey. On the bottom left-hand steering column stock, there is a button to control the adaptive cruise control if fitted to your vehicle. Press the lever forwards to set your current speed as the target speed or to increase your target speed. If you pull the lever back towards you, the speed is reduced. Adaptive cruise control adjusts your speed in line with that of the vehicle in front of you. If it slows down, the system automatically reduces your speed. This makes driving easier for you, especially on long distances. In the center of the stalk is a rocker button to control the distance between you and the vehicle in front. Use the rocker to change your chosen distance from the vehicle ahead in four steps. The multifunction display in the instrument panel informs you of the chosen speed. Current speed, the desired distance set, and the speed of the vehicle ahead. You can disable the system at any time by depressing the brake or accelerator pedal. Using the top left-hand stalk, you can control the indicators, full beam, and flashing of the headlights. Use the buttons on your key to open and lock the vehicle and also to open the tailgate. This can be closed again using the button in the tailgate panel. If you hold down the buttons on your remote control, the windows and sunroof open and close and the exterior mirrors fold in automatically. Should you need to use it, a chauffeur key can be released by pushing the release catch aside and removing it. Using the right-hand rotary knob on the multifunction steering wheel, you can control the multifunction display. The multifunction display is located in the instrument panel where you can view all of the functions. The multifunction display provides current data such as driving time, temperature or range till empty. It also displays warning messages such as tire pressure monitoring TPM which shows the current tire pressure and alerts you to any loss in pressure.
The wipers are controlled using the top right-hand stalk. To turn on the rain sensor, simply push the stalk up one position. The wipers will now start automatically when it rains. To change the sensitivity of the rain sensor, move the small switch on the right of the stalk up or down. To set the speed manually, push the stalk further up for slower or faster wiper speed. For a single wipe, press the stalk down and release. To use the washers, pull the stalk towards you. To operate the automatic headlights, turn the light switch on the dashboard to auto. The lights now switch on automatically as soon as it gets dark. You can use the rotary light switch to turn on the side lights and headlights manually. If you pull the control stalk, the rear fog lamps switch on. At higher speeds, such as on the motorway, the optional Porsche Dynamic Light System, PDLS, automatically adjusts the range of the dipped beams by adapting the shape of the light cone, extending it further forward to improve visibility without dazzling oncoming traffic. Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, adapts the damping forces automatically according to the road conditions and your driving style. It has three settings, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Press the damper button on the center console once for the Sport setting and twice for Sport Plus. Press the button again to return to comfort mode. Sensors detect the body shell movements occurring under fast cornering, rapid acceleration, braking, or on uneven ground. From this, the control unit evaluates the current driving conditions and adjusts the damper settings according to the mode selected. The result? Increased comfort, stability, and performance. If you've opted for the Sport Chrono Package, you use the separate Sport button on the center console to activate Sport Mode. The engine becomes more responsive and performance-oriented, and the PDK gear selection, where fitted, is more direct, with even shorter response times. Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, is also set to sport mode for harder damping settings and more direct steering into corners. The Sport Plus button activates Sport Plus mode. The engine management system adapts the engine for performance driving and the rev limiter is adjusted to a harder setting. PASM also switches to Sport Plus mode. The dampers become harder and the suspension is lowered by a further 25 millimeters. Simply press the Sport or Sport Plus button again to return to comfort mode. Park Assist, optional on some models, alerts the driver to the distance between the vehicle and an obstacle audibly and also visually on the central display. You can disable Park Assist using a button in the roof control unit. The optional reversing camera helps to ensure precise reverse parking and maneuvering. 
The dynamic guidelines on the PCM camera image show you the ideal direction for the parking maneuver, along with the direction you are traveling in. You just have to bring the two lines together. On vehicles fitted with Porsche Entry and Drive, to lock your vehicle, press the button on the outside of the door handle briefly. Your vehicle's indicators flash twice. Porsche Entry and Drive also activates the immobilizer and steering column lock. If the rotary light switch is set to auto, the welcome home function lights your way, for example, to your door. You can set the time for which the daytime running lights, tail lights, and parking lights remain on. The interior surveillance is also activated. The system secures all four doors the bonnet, tailgate, interior, ignition, and any trailer attached. You can deactivate the interior surveillance, for example, when someone is waiting in the car, by pressing the lock button twice. Owning the Panamera is like a good partnership. The better you get to know each other, the greater the pleasure in meeting up.